Uh, and then a zinger's out. Um, devastating. I, I know, think Trent was a big zinger guy. I like I like zinger. He makes it interesting. What was it during the U.S. Open where there was a, he's like the ball's gonna stop on that ridge <laughs> yeah. and it wouldn't it was not stopping. He's like it's gonna stop right now. It's gonna stop right now. He was denying reality despite reality playing out right in front of him. That's what I want an announcer. If we're in the content game, are we not? If yeah, we, we are. If we are, then Paul Azinger has a place. He was like your crazy uncle who would, he'd have really good stories, but then he would say a couple things where you're like, oh, that's not true. They're going to get somebody in there who gets everything right and they know the stats and Trevor doesn't Edelman. ever make a mistake. I mean, we love Trevor, but like, you know, a guy like Azinger, I think he has a place because he makes so many mistakes that you're like, this is incredible. He just said too many things that weren't true, but other than that. I think the game's moved on, hasn't it? You've got to be on that now as a commentator. I don't think so. The nostalgia of that is, I'm with you, but the viewer's just not going to tolerate it. I don't think viewers care as much as people think. When I'm watching a golf tournament, I don't need everything to be perfect.